Well, developing tonight, a group of pro-life doctors fear Mississippi's abortion ban may not be valid just yet. Attorneys for the doctors filed a lawsuit today in hopes of making sure it is. Reader Science' Brendan Hall joins us now to explain. That's right. These attorneys point to a prior Mississippi Supreme Court opinion that holds abortion is a right protected by the state constitution. They say this legal uncertainty has placed the state's physicians in an impossible catch-22. Mississippi's only abortion clinic is no longer in operation, and its abortion ban is in effect. Or is it? There's absolutely um, some ambiguity regarding what the law is in Mississippi right now. Aaron Rice, the director of the Mississippi Justice Institute, says he's not so sure that the state's trigger law is valid. And it's all because of a 1998 Mississippi Supreme Court opinion called Pro-Choice Mississippi v. Fordyce. It's an opinion that protects the right to an abortion under the state constitution and also one that the Justice Institute is hoping to see overturned. We're in a situation where elective abortions appear to be both statutorily illegal but a constitutional right according to this 1998 Mississippi Supreme Court opinion. The group filed a lawsuit Monday on behalf of the American Association of Pro-Life Obstetricians and Gynecologists, or APLOG for short. Aside from clarifying state law, Rice says the lawsuit also aims to protect doctors from possible punishment by medical institutions. There are several professional medical societies that suggest that it is unethical for doctors to refuse to participate in or refer patients for elective abortions, and that those doctors could in fact be punished by the state if they refuse to do so. He says the state Supreme Court relied heavily on the U.S. Supreme Court's opinions when ruling in the Fordyce case. Now that the high court's opinions have changed, he says the states should too. This lawsuit was filed in the Hines County Chancery Court and will likely be decided by the Mississippi Supreme Court. Brendan Hall, three on your side.